Hello mis amores, welcome back to my channel, my name is Solai and today we're gonna be unboxing this boxy charm that I have here. This is the boxy charm for November and I'm super excited to unbox this with you guys so let's get started. <music> I'm just gonna open up the box here and the first thing it's the paper that they give you with everything that's on it and this one says it's given giftable glam and this is what it looks like and everything that's on this box is on the back of this paper so at the end of the video I'm gonna be adding everything up that's in here and then I'm gonna tell you guys how much it's worth the first thing in here and Oh, this is really big. Okay, so this is the first thing in here. This is from Beauty Bio and is the Bright Eyes, the Puffing and Brightening Eye Gels. Mm, okay, it says, so this says that it's supposed to depuff and brighten your under eyes. Um, and let me open this. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like those little under eye things that you put um under your eyes just because i never really find it to do much honestly okay so they come in this little package and you can see kind of like the shape of them uh and in the back you have instructions on how to use them they retail for 28 dollars and there's eight of them in here so how much how much would that be like that will mean that literally one of these is like $3.50. Don't quote me on that because I'm not good at math. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next thing. And let's put my hand in here. This is the Metallic Eyeliner Duo. And this is what this looks like. Oh, so there's two in here. Obviously, it says Duo. There's two in here. This is what they look like. So there's like a copper color. And then there's a blue color. I'm just going to swatch it. So these are the swatches. Honestly, I'm really excited to use this on my eyes. Because the color is really pretty. The blue doesn't really look that metallic. Um, The copper kind of does. But they're really creamy. So they must be like super easy to use in your eyes. So I'm really excited to try them out. Okay, so this is really cool because it says that these are waterproof. So, we're gonna see. So, this two eyeliner, the eyeliner duo, they actually retail for 30 bucks, which that's a lot <laughs> for liners. All right, so let's move on to the next thing and let's see what we have here. So, this is what we have here. This is the midi. Midi Palette Face It from Ofra. This is in the shade Median. And yeah, so this is in the shade Median. So let's, wow, this look nice. Look how cute is the packaging. So we have a highlighter, a contouring shade, and then a bronzer. But this bronzer looks very glittery. So... I don't know how that's going to look on the face because it looks very glittery. It has like glitter on it. Typically, I only use like glitter um, bronzers for like the summer. So, hopefully this is like not overly like glittery. This is the contouring shade. This is the highlighter right here. And then this is the bronzer. I really like the highlight. That highlight looks so pretty it looks so pretty so this offer palette retails for 35 dollars um i heard a lot of good things from their brand i have never tried them but i heard a lot of good things about it so i'm excited to try that palette yes <laughs> okay so moving on to the next thing and okay so we have the luna magic mango and cherry hydrating lip balm so so there's two lip balms here we have a mango one and then we have a cherry one <gasps> we have a mango one and 
a cherry one. I wonder if they have like a tint to it because maybe they just smell different. They smell really good. And then let's see the mango. Wow. That smells really good. So this one's more peachy. And this one's obviously more red. That's the cherry one. And then this is the mango one. So this lip balms actually retail for $16. And it says that they're infused with vitamin E. And they have jojoba oil. No, jojoba oil. There you go. So they, yeah. So they have vitamin E and jojoba oil, which, um... It's good for your lips, so it should nourish them and stuff. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. And I think there's only one more thing left. Yeah. So this, yeah, that's the last thing in here. And this is the Velvet Lip Liner from Seattle, London. This is what it is. Wow, this is a really pretty color. It's more of a, like, a new pinky color almost yeah so this actually retails for eighteen dollars um so this is supposed to be like a velvety it has supposed to have like a velvety finish to it when i was swatching it it felt really soft so i'm excited to try that all right so that is everything that was in the box i'm gonna go wash my face and take off my makeup because i have some makeup on and we're gonna try everything that was in there so Alright guys, so I'm back and I washed my face, I took off my makeup and let's try this. So the first thing we're going to be trying is the Beauty Bio, the little um, ID puffers. Um, hmm, they don't really have a smell. So, ooh -hoo -hoo. so let's get one. If I can get it off. Oh! I have the wrong. I had it. I had it like this. No wonder why the water came out. Ooh, this is cold. This is really cold. Ooh. I personally don't really like like cheap mask or um, things like this, just because um, because of the thing I mentioned earlier where I, I don't really notice the difference honestly, but also because I don't oh I don't like that coldness on my face okay so let's try the lip balm it smells so good i really want to eat it okay you can smell it it really feels moisturizing it feels like really moisturizing and it's kind of thick but not like too thick it's like the perfect thickness i guess but this one looks like it doesn't really have a color to it it did look like it had a tint when i swatched it but uh, honestly, I'm not a fan of these applicators. This is really cute. It has like a very light pink color. So I just went ahead real quick and I did my eyebrows while this was on my eyes. On my eyes. I'm just going to take them off. Okay. Do y'all like notice any difference? <laughs> I don't really notice any difference. That the only thing though, my under eyes feel hydrated, so that's good. But I don't know. I don't notice anything different. But I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this because I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna do my face makeup and then I'm gonna go back and try this stuff on with you guys. So let's go. Alright guys, so I finished my base and I finished my eyebrows. So we're gonna try that face Okay, um we're gonna try the face palette that we have here from Ofra and I'm super excited because this is like a really nice palette and I'm really excited to try that highlighter because it looks so freaking pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this brush and I'm gonna be using that for the contouring and I'm just gonna take that color right here. This is the contouring color that you're supposed to like use. Oh, that has a lot of fallout. And wow, that's like that's like really pigmented. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. 
Well, look at this. That's like really pigmented. That's nice though. That is that pigmented. Or maybe I just put too much. <laughs> and then down here. My gel line. Let's try the other side. Okay, this is like really nice because this is super pigmented and but I also feel like maybe I'm putting too much. Do you see that? Oh my god. And I'm really just following my natural because I have natural hollows on my like you can naturally see like going in. So I'm just following that. This is actually really nice. So let's try the um the bronzer. I'm gonna try this one and this is the bronzer one. So alright, let's see. Oh my god, okay. Oh <gasps> whoa, this is like really pigmented. Oh my god, this is legit so easy to blend and it's so pretty. Just wow. I'm very impressed. I thought the glitter was going to come out a lot, but you can't really see the glitter that much, which is awesome because personally, i rather it not show like a lot. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and with, well, this is my powder brush and I'm just going to try to blend it out because I put too much. I really like this. Now let's try the highlighter, which I'm really excited to try, honestly. And I'm just going to put a little bit because I already learned my lesson. This is very pigmented, so I'm going to. Ooh. But, like, why is it so pretty? You guys see this? I just want to hang out of some blush. And we're going to try the eyeliner now. So, like, I kind of want to put it, like, right here. Like, right here. Like, going like that. Should we just do that? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Okay, so this is not, like, going on my eye the way that I thought it was going to. Like, it's not really looking metallic <laughs> at all. It's not going, like, the color that I swatch. Like, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's a combination of the powder or, like, the concealer or something. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and try to, like, smudge it a little bit. Um, actually, let me get you guys a little bit closer because, obviously, y'all can't really see from all the way over there. This is what it looks like when it's swatched. And this is what it's looking on my eye. It's kind of weird. So I'm going to try to put it on top again. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. Like, this is looking kind of weird. Let's try the blue one and see how the blue one does because... Okay. And I'm going to put the blue one, like, on the outer part of my eye. But it looks pretty. I like that color. It's really pretty. Like, it doesn't necessarily look like super metallic, but you can kind of tell a little bit that it kind of is. So that's really cool. But now the other one, mm -mm, I, I don't like it. I'm going to try to put some of the blue on top, though, just to kind of bring it together. I don't know, guys. I try. <laughs> I try. But that, that copper one is not looking good. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like this is a disaster. I really try. I was like trying to be cute with the eyeliners and try to do something fun, but they just kind of like messed up, like, and smushed together. I am so sorry. <laughs> like, this looks not good. I don't know. I don't know what to say. The only thing to say, let's move on. <laughs> 
Okay, so the last thing to try try no the last thing to try here it's the velvet lip liner from Seattle London uh, dude why does this look like the perfect color for my lips yeah see that like that's so close to my actual lip color like that's so close oh my god I will say it's not that easy to put on I thought it was gonna be creamier but it's really not but I'm kind of impressed because this looks like exactly my lip color. So I'm going to be using the Mango Lip Balm from earlier. And I'm going to put it on top just to make it look glossy. Alright guys. So this is it. I'm going to be calculating how much everything was. So the total for this box was $127. $127 as you guys can see. I'm not really that impressed with this month's box, to be honest. If you want to go ahead and watch the boxy charm from last month, I'm going to leave it up here somewhere for you guys to watch. And also, probably in the description down below. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Be happy and smile.